right, I have a motion to accept the last minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. So moved. Uh, I just found out that I guess Jake and Joan will want to talk to us. <laughs> I'm too close, Tom. I can't talk this close. Okay. Uh, so that person canceled. So we move right into doctors. I can give an update on, on state budget stuff. Okay, all right. Presentation. That's okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want it, Sorry, that's fine. Sorry, it's Yeah. Okay, <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah. Briefly, um, so clearly we do not like a lot of what is in the state budget. Um, what makes things worse is that they're trying to push to have the state budget done by Thursday and Friday of this week because they want to get everybody out of town and get them home due to the coronavirus situation. Double worse news is that they are going to add all of our local sales tax extenders to the budget as an omnibus, one bill, get done for the year, go home. If they do that, now the New York State Association of Counties can't possibly fight the budget and ask their members to vote no because we desperately need our sales tax to be part of it. So I don't have very good news at all about the state budget. Um, the federal government, however, has helped us out big time this week. Um, the federal government has smartly, um, Chuck Schumer has led an effort with the New York delegation um, through their uh, it is called the Families First Coronavirus Plan, House Bill 6201, passed the House overwhelmingly this week. That bill um, extends Medicaid funding to the states. And what they've done is because in New York, we're the only state where counties actually are part of the Medicaid system, we are designated, New York State counties are designated to receive some of that money directly, not through the state of New York and not through where the governor can control how much gets to us and how much doesn't. So smart bill that will protect that um, EF map money is what we've been calling it um, for at least the emergency now and in 2020. So a little bit of the governor's plot has been foiled by some smart action in Washington but that does not change the main <laughs> Medicaid issue of, um, we've been talking about hashtag keep the cap. Uh, if the governor's budget goes through as is or without a prolonged budget fight from upstate, um, you know, uh, assembly and Senate members, which it sounds like if they're trying to wrap it up by Friday, it's sure it's, it's not gonna be prolonged anyhow. Um, so that those elements are not good. The other element of the state budget that is not good is that uh, they are writing it with an automatic um, unilateral ability since the initial budget projections were here and in the last month and a half since the governor released his budget, the new projections for Wall Street and the state economy where we get most of our money is here. Uh, that leaves an additional four to seven billion dollar gap in the state's budget. Mind you, they were already six billion dollars short when they started this process. So now you're talking 12 million dollars short, billion dollars short. Um, what they're going to do, or what the governor's asking them to do, is put a clause in the budget and just say, well, contingency plan, if our revenues don't meet our expenditures because we've had this crisis during the budget planning process, then the state can unilaterally um, cut programs and, and reimbursement. Well, we can read through the lines to know exactly what that's gonna mean. That's gonna mean all of our programs that are split with the state, um, they're going to shift the burden on the counties, which they always wanna do anyways, but usually we have the legislature to fight for us. So if they put this provision in, um, I don't want to, uh, to, to cause panic, but I think I should read exactly what our New York State Association of Counties um, executive director said on the phone. He said, counties should begin bracing for severe cuts like you've never seen before. So um, that is what we're facing in Albany right now. Nothing we can do, our budget's done for 2020, right? So we just react. Um, our sales tax figures will be interesting. Um, obviously, you know, we're gonna fall short in the months to come. 
but uh, it'll be interesting to see how they are in March since our stores have been packed and people have been buying like crazy. Um, but I think we can reasonably expect them to go down um, after that. So we will be keeping an eye on the financial situation, um, both in Albany and here um, <coughs> at home. So that's the, the update I can provide you um, at this time. So you know, if they put our if they put our sales tax extender in the budget, are we going to call Blank and Bush and Griffo and say fight the budget? New, no, because we need that more than we need anything else. So that's putting us in a tough spot. But it is what it is. So there you go. Tom. Um, Regarding that finances, um, as you know, I was kind of a proponent of sharing some money with the towns and villages from our overage on sales tax, and I still think we should do something. But under the circumstances now, now is not the right time. And definitely not. I'll, yeah. I'll withdraw that that until maybe maybe th this fall we can look at it, see where we stand. And I'll shut up on that for now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, based on the news we just heard, I've seen. And, and, and with this corona thing, yep. too, you know, um, Ashley's probably going to incur, incur a lot of over expenses that she wasn't anticipating and that type of thing. So. Yeah, there, there's bound to be some oddball stuff come up. Yeah. All right, thank you. One positive thing, uh, not positive, but we are in a national, or excuse me, federal, state, and local state of emergency. There will be funding coming down in some way or another. So if we, you know, you expend extra things for, you know, this coronavirus emergency, um, I think it's safe to say that there will be some money trickling down to the locality. Safe to say that it will trickle down. That's a good way to say that because <laughs> if it comes through the state, it, it'll be a trickle when it gets to us. Probably. Potentially. So. <coughs> I, I, I don't. So I want to see that as, as as making us whole. There's always so much money out there. For people. Yeah. Okay. Anybody got anything other comments on the? Uh, but the, the, the one percent keeps us at eight percent total. Right. Right. Doesn't yeah. go to nine. No. no. Okay. That misconception was out there. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Yeah. Our 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 local. Um, language the way our local request is written I think is very confusing it's nobody's right. fault it's just the way it's been since we had the extra one percent I think next time we do this in Ryan, 20, I have to tell you yeah. I tried to change I the know. language the last time and the state came back and made me really put it back the way it has to be exactly as they have in the chapter amendment. okay so no <laughs> sure blame it on the state <laughs> <laughs> yeah because when I first read that too I it mean, is an additional one percent I'm thinking we're going to ask you for more sales tax and then I yeah, have to keep what we've got. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Move on to the docket check. Resolution to make the home rule request to the state legislature to enact the following. New York State Senate bill, we don't know <coughs> the number yet. And the companion in the assembly bill, we don't know the number yet. To continue to impose an additional 1% local sales tax for the period beginning December 1st, 2020 and ending November 30th, 2023. This is the bill I'm saying won't be a bill. It will be included in the budget probably. But, but if it doesn't, right, we still need this to and the uh, assembly have to pass their local bills. So. Yeah. But that's, I, sorry. Sorry. I mean that. 1% is what's going to be in the budget. The other 3% is in another law. Yeah, we already have permission for the other three. Right, so that wouldn't be effective. Correct. Just the one. But for us, that's 25%. And normally we were talking, Phil's the mathematician here. Quarter percent was around 600,000. Am I wrong in that? Or? Your memory is better than mine. You're right. Yeah, we're okay. getting about 13 million a year now. So uh, this one percent represents a quarter of 13 million. So six, you know, or a whole lot of money. Thank you. Any other questions? All in favor? All right. 
Resolution to authorize the county attorney to take all steps to offer the two county-owned landlock parcels, one in the town of Lewis and one in the town of Lyonsdale, for private sale in accordance with local law number 6-2004. So these are two landlock parcels that um, have been in the tax auction for a number of years. We've um, my thought is, after speaking with Candy and with the uh, treasurer's office, is that they are in for this year's tax auction, assuming that we go forward on May 6th with that as well. Um, in the event they don't sell again, I'd like the opportunity to send letters to contiguous landowners to see if one of the, on one of them in particular, it would square off this person's property. So. Just to get it back on the table, <coughs> if it's for, even if it's for a minimal amount, I think it would be worth it. But to be consistent with all, what our local law says, the board has to give up, give me the authority to offer those. Any questions, discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution to amend the compensation plan of the County of Lewis with reference to the treasurer's office to create a temporary part-time accounting assistant position at the rate of $50 per hour, not to exceed the amount of $2,000. Why are we creating a, a position? Oh, we're trying not to create positions. It's a temporary, temporary position. It doesn't matter. Temporary, full-time, doesn't matter to me. So creating another position at fifty dollars an hour. The choice was to put the individual on payroll or use them, pay them through a contract. And in discussion with Joan and Caitlin, the decision was made to put them on payroll. So it's creating a position. Why do why all of a sudden we need a, a, a <coughs> part-time accounting assistant? Didn't have it when previous treasurer. Uh, I believe we did. I believe uh, retired treasurer Vicki Roy came in and helped Patty O'Brien for a period of time. Period of time. Yes. Well, when she first started, you mean? When uh, she became the uh, the uh, the treasurer, Vicki Roy was brought back to assist her to uh, for a period of time. Through the audit process. Yeah, that's right. Year right. ending, we are right. closing the annual books and through the audit process. This works out to forty hours, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Not a lot. My, my, money in a deck. My expectation it could be significantly less than that, but um, that gives us some room in case we really need you know, a large amount of assistance. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be. Old. I thought my math was working on my calculator. Any other questions or comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Opposed? Opposed. Ready to hold? Resolution carried. Resolution to authorize the Lewis County Commissioner of Social Services to move funds within the WIOA budget lines provided that set amounts do not exceed the overall annual WIOA budget allocation to Lewis County and provided that the Commissioner advises the Treasurer of the amounts in the WIOA accounts relative reallocated. This came from Health and Human Services forward to the committee. Any questions, comments? All in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed? Resolution carries. I need a motion to approve the general liability insurance renewal package with Eastern Shore Associates through Nimer for the period from April 5th, 2020 to April 5th, 2021 for a total premium of $212,197.27. So moved. Is a second? How, how does that compare with last year? Uh, it's a 2.7% increase That's over right, last year. Second. I'll second. There's a few extra cars, there's a little more payroll. I don't know if you really have to do that. All in favor say aye. All right. Hold. Hold for carry. And that is all I have. Okay, do you need any, any comments from any department heads that are here at this time? Okay, we need a motion to go into a 
I'll make it. You thought you were going to get out of it easy, didn't you? Yeah. Any actions after executive session anticipated? We're, we just had oh, to, uh, we just a half. negotiated a session half. with the road patrol yesterday. Sure, why not? Um, Ryan, can I just throw me under the bus? I was going to ask you about the budget 